Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. Today's battle's on the Prakaropa map, and we've got Ram Deuter from Vicious Orcs clan. He's in the T110E5, tier 10 US heavy tank. It's one of the original uh, heavy tanks in the game. It's been through a few nerfs and buffs, and it's currently in a buff state. A typical um, turret layout in the sense that it's got a massive cupola on top. Which is a weakness, but it's got pretty good frontal armor for the turret. And decent gun depression, so you can play the features here. Now this is an encounter battle, so there's only one cap and long uh, long cap time, so yeah, once the enemy get on base it's can be stopped by getting on base as well. Now you manage to find a little PTA facing the other way, but um, it's now bounced three different shots coming in. So it just shows the strength of the uh, turret armor. No, it's not impen totally impenetrable, but uh, it does uh, certainly withstand quite a few different hits and types of guns. And uh, yeah, when you're on the move, it makes it much harder to hit the uh, Kapoor. So in this position, he's got targets on the hill. He's the enemy light tank, only one light tank per side. So getting rid of the light tank is priority map, even though it's encounter map, which is not exactly the same type as a play as a normal battle, but still there is always a bit of a battle on the 1-2 line and on the hill, so spotting is important. So interesting that uh, both of the sides have got exactly the same type of light tank, which is interesting. It's not always the case, but obviously there's English light tank players around. In any case, uh, that gives um, Ram a bit more choice about where to play, so you can move across the field knowing that it's unlikely to be spotted from the uh, hill on the one line. Although, you know, obviously, there could be a medium tank there, but um, medium tanks don't have as good camo as the light tanks, yeah, particularly on the move once they start moving, then they break their camo. But you can take advantage of the spotting. Just trying to direct some traffic here. But, um, the PTA in the middle keeps popping up and spotting, which is fine. Um, in this position, you can't be shot from the hill because they won't do it. You're outside the draw range. And now he's just coming back into draw range of the hill itself, so if anyone gets spotted there, he'll have some nice uh, targets up there. So, currently, batch at 12T on. A cap, but um, oh sorry, batch at 25T, I think. But uh, it keeps getting reset, so okay, so here we go. It's got some targets, some nice side shot material, and he keeps facing sideways, which is what you want. He's swinging this way, but you uh, can't see Ram in his tank, so he needs to turn his turret and face the threat he's got in front of him, which is perfect for Ram because he can just keep putting shots into him. So it goes for the next shot, gets it in, doesn't quite get the kill there, left him on very low hit points, and he gets taken out by this TDP-1, now he's got the TDP, oh I don't quite know where that shot went, Probably into the dirt, can see there's a bit of terrain in front, you can see the um, shading just shows you which parts of the tanks are not hittable, this is a new feature in the game that came in in the recent patch, and, um, First time I've turned it on, so yeah, it's an interesting effect. It shows you what parts of the tank can't be hit because they're obscured by terrain or by buildings. So it helps you focus on the part of the tank that you can hit. Now, some players don't like this, but um, it's only a helpful to particularly newer players who might be wondering why they're shooting at an outlined tank but um, can't penetrate it because of something that's in the way. So, that's the four. He's just pumping damage out like no business. He's pushing in here on the ST2. He bounced off him to start with. Does a small ram, but doesn't get a whole lot of damage out of it. But now he can punish this um, ST2. ST2 trying to hide his um, commander's hatch, which is interesting. But he's bouncing the incoming rounds. I should have pointed out there's tier 9 and tier 10 tanks in this game, so I should have tier 9. 
is fine. And uh, you can also see Ram's been shooting most of his uh, standard rounds, particularly when he's had um, side armor to shoot at. It's not silly, you know, it's the expensive, so he uses standard rounds as what he wants to use for. But he gets rid of the ST2 there with the premium rounds. And he's got the um, M in the middle. Has he fired the PDM already? No, he hasn't. Does he take damage from the PDM? No, he hasn't actually yet, but he has been spotted by him a couple of times, but he knows he can push him now and take a hit if he needs to. Critical hit. He take, gets a hit from the T55A who is across the field somewhere. Yeah, we should be able to get rid of the PDM now. Oh, not quite. Leaves him on very low hit points. But, uh, Ram is just having an excellent game right now. He's on 6.5k of damage. Gets his third kill right there. So they're down by three tanks, which is interesting, but they're up by 4,000 hit points. So there's a lot of very heavily damaged tanks, and straight away two enemy tanks get taken out. And T55A, where it is, takes out Conway. But, um, I am now finding object 268 version 4. He seems to have pulled all the He's found a leopard PTA hiding in the bushes, but not for long. He gets sent back to the garage pretty quickly. Now Ram's going after the 268 version 4. We've got only one tank down now, but uh, they've still got a decent uh, hit point advantage. Well, that can evaporate pretty quickly. They're still T1 10 E4 on the enemy side and the 268 B4, both of the big alpha guns, capable of taking you know, 750 average damage. Not more. He pops up first to see if he can spot him, he doesn't, so in fact there's three tanks on cap. So there's a good chance the uh, object has moved up to the cap area. So we're um, not worried too much about the island because it's really just too far away to be an influence on the cap but there might still be tanks on the hill in fact there is T30 on the hill and he gets spotted at the same time so probably the T30 I would suggest is what spotted him and T30 gets taken out but he comes up carefully behind cover just looking for targets and he's just got part of the um, object 268 v there and he puts a shot in towards the TNH but uh, gets taken out anyway. Ram shot missing. So he's over 7k now. And he's got the E4, so he can probably push in on this E4, which I think that's what he's trying to do. So come and get a shot on him. And he's just got a shot on the quarter of the turret and that goes through. And he's got this nice um, hold down shot here. He'll go for the commander's hatch, lines him up and gets the kill. So now there's only the object 268B4 and the T55A who seems to be putting up a pretty valiant effort. But where are they? Last seen next to the railway line. Well, there's the uh, object going back over the railway line. Could be a target. Can you get the shot in? No. Oh. It seems to have gone into the tracks. So that's a bit unfortunate. Bit of a snapshot here. T55A is on very low health. And it's just on the other side of the railway line. So which target is Ram going to go for? This game in the bag, I would suggest, but uh, still a chance to be losing some hit points. Although at this stage of the game, the Ram's got 830 hit points, definitely can take a hit from T55A, but uh, he doesn't want to get taking a hit from both of them. So can he come in and punish this T55A? Yes, he is. He gets the kill. That was pretty straightforward. He gets the lead, but the object is on the other side of the railway tracks. So, oh no, he's not. <laughs> There he is, and he did 595 damage, so that's interesting. An object, very fast moving tank. Um, so Ram decides, okay, discretion is the better part of Valor. We want to win this game. We can win it by three capping it. He's definitely one shot to the object now, but he can take a position here with a bit of a hold down spot and see if they can find the um, 268 before coming out of the railway line, which would be the fastest way for him to come and get a reset. So it's five minutes to go, there's plenty of time to get the cap, even with just Ram on cap, if he can get the others to come on. Well, it's just him in the E4, so 
keeps the fork still looking for the object. Not strictly necessary as long as he's got vision of the cap area. And here we go, countdown is on, two minutes to go. You'd be feeling quite tense now because you've got a chance to win. You've got one tank advantage and you don't know when the guy's going to come out of the railway line. But, uh, one thing with the encounter mode is if someone gets into your cap area straight away the cap timer gets blocked so you know as soon as someone enters your cap area so that's one positive thing he can do that without even um, getting exposed but uh, Ram thinking maybe the object's going to come down from the uh, north end of the map it's got plenty of time so it's definitely something you can try but uh, this is something you just don't quite know in this situation but he's got coverage on the uh, railway line. In fact, the e 4s moved up right now, which is good. On the other side of the railway line, so they've got good coverage here. Ram pulls back to make sure he's not exposed. It's pretty safe, I think, to know that he's not going to come from the south, and because uh, that's where the E4 came from. So really, the north is the most likely position, and not from the middle, because the E4 would have found him. But um, E4 crosses over and gets on cap and that brings the timer down to 20 seconds to go, or 25. So it looks like it's in the bag. Oh, now the force has been spotted. Oh, sorry, the force has been spotted, and who's going to get the shot? Ram's got the shot, puts one in, which is nice. And the E4 is pushing in. He'll probably be reloaded before Ram, maybe. No, Ram gets another shot, doesn't he? He does. Critical damage, unfortunately. The E4 is closed in. And he gets the kill shot. So, great game there. Nice win. Five kills to Ram and 8k damage. So, here are the results 8.7k of damage and five kills has given him the uh, high caliber award. He's blocked 3.2k of damage just to show off how powerful the uh, turret armor is. It gave him the steel wall, and he's got the tank sniper award for um, yeah doing at least a thousand hit points of damage over 300 meters away, and the ace tanker mastery badge. So how did he compare the team? There we go, 1462 base experience would get you an ace tanker every day, uh, even at um, yeah for a chieftain I think. Uh, so great result there. Um, Good support there from the Conway who got over 5k as well, so great shooting there from Monster72 and um, the E4 who helped him finish off the game, yeah, nearly 3k, so good support there as well, so reasonable all-round performance for the rest of the team. And on the enemy side, the 268V4 did 6.7k, so be pretty disappointed. Um, the T55A also did well getting 600 base and might have scraped in a... Um, uh, Ace Tanker there as well with Courageous Resistance, so congratulations to those players. So let's have a look at the detail. So 31 shots fired, that's a great um, outcome for a heavy tank. Um, quite reasonable reload though on the E5, so yeah, it is a good all-round tank. Doesn't get a lot of exposure in Clan Wars anymore, but um, it has its moments. Out of the 31 shots fired, 29 hit and 25 of those penetrated. So it gave him his damage target, and you can see 4.8k done over more than 300 metres away. So most of that was on the hill, shooting from the middle. So he didn't have any um, reserves running, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, he expenses were basically the repair of his vehicle, because he got down to fairly low health at the end. Um, dug into his premium ammunition as well, so spent 82k there and consumables. So, but in the end, um, a loss of only 27k so not a bad outcome for such a such a high result so thanks ram for the content very much appreciated uh, if you're watching and you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already that's something we'd like you to do we'll have more great content to follow and thanks very much for watching